Hello everybody and welcome to another Houdini tutorial. Today we are talking about the backbone and ribbon diagram tool updates to our protein toolkit. Um, I was talking to a lovely lady who does a lot of scientific visualization and she recommended that for this particular tool, because it is a very important um, tool when it comes to protein visualization, um, I should add arrows to show the direction of the curve. Um, she says even like a lot of tutorials out there in the Houdini community, I actually forget to add these arrows when it comes to visualizing the curve of a structure. Uh, currently, you can see like these actually these arrows kind of overlap a little bit too well with the actual um, kind of ribbon itself. But if you scale down the width, that can also basically help make them more visible. But it's a work in progress to try and balance um, the position of the arrows with a curve. Uh, there will be more updates to this HDA in the future, but in the, in the meantime, it works relatively well. So let's kind of talk about it. When it comes to protein rendering, um, there's three main ways to try and visualize proteins in 3D space, and one of them is ball and stick, uh, space filling, bone and ribbon diagrams. So this is our backbone and ribbon diagram structure, um, HDA that we can use to visualize proteins in Houdini. Um, it allows you to have text options to visualize amino acids along the curve if you wanted to look for them. It also allows you to turn that text off if you don't want to take a look. So here we have something like a wire radius, so we can adjust the size of our curve like that. Uh, we can also have these little arrows now that are available to visualize the direction of the curve and which direction it is going into. So you can turn these arrows on and off if you want to. And there's also information on this that allows you to build ribbon diagrams. You can change the color of anything on the structure as well, but this is a little introduction for what this HDA is for. It mainly works with the Isolate Chains HDA, um, and you will need to drop this down before you drop down the backbone and ribber, ribbon frame diagram because you want to isolate only one chain of everything that you model. So currently we're looking at chain A of the structure, so we only want to show this like backbone and ribbon diagram with chain A. The other thing that you can do with this diagram is combine it with other HTAs. So if you wanted to create a ribbon frame diagram like this and also see the direction of the curve, but you wanted part of your structure to show space filling or the amino acids, you could drop down the amino acid um, HDA and isolate any HDA that you see fit. And now you can also see certain amino acids within that structure as well. Ah, there we go. So we are isolating only one chain of the structure. So this is also something that you wanna pay attention to when you're modeling something. So if you only wanna capture the amino acids on one particular chain, uh, you're gonna to have to make sure this amino acid stop is connected to your backbone ribbon diagram or um, to the isolate chains so you can see those right here and where they exist along the curve in 3D space like that. Um, I've had a lot of people say that the more mixed diagrams that you can do of a protein, the more interesting it is going to appear to the general public. So that's something that we really wanted to make sure happens inside this toolkit. Um, so definitely check that out. You can even honestly combine the amino acid data types with all of these other things. So you can actually visualize, let's say, even like the non chillary bonds throughout the kind of ribbon diagrams as well if you wanted to do that, or even the other bonds that would exist, or amino acids that would exist along this chain as well. So that there's a lot of different options of how you can go along and start to visualize your structure with these new HDA updates, and I'll leave them up to you of what you create, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!